Okay, so I'm going to begin by starting to work on this eye and get the, the basics in. So I'm just going to wet this area like I usually do. I'm just scrubbing my brush right there in that dry paint well. Add a little water to my brush and try to get the right consistency that I want. And I'm just going to drop in, I want this a little cooler, so I'm going to pick up some ultramarine, scrub it around in my brush to make sure it's all blended in the brush, and then drop it in. You want to pay attention to your cools and your warms because they'll help give some shape. Okay, now I'm going to go in and lightly I've got some pretty thick, creamy consistency black right here so that it won't spread too fast and it'll be pretty nice and dark for his little eyebrows. I'll have to go back in and scrub some of this out. That's okay. Now I'm going to go get some pretty thick burnt sienna as well so I can put in the brown eyes. As you can see that's spreading a little bit and that's okay. I'm, I'm going to go back in later and soften it up and shape it up so that'll be fun. I'm going to go in here where is so it's pretty good and dark. Put that detail in. Going in with a wet brush here to kind of push some of that brown up because his coat's pretty light here, but it's dark along the edge of his fur right there. So I'm just gonna go in like that. And um, while that area is drying, I'm gonna moisten this. being real careful with this edge because his tongue has a very specific shape and I want to save that. Rinse my brush out and just get black because now I'm going to do the leather of his collar here. Uh, I don't want that to run right there but I'll go back in and touch that up just blot, get this area a bit dry, and then go back in with the black. Now that that's dry, and then I'll make a semi-soft edge, but it's pretty dry because I just blotted it. You see how I made the dark of his collar blend with the shadows underneath his tongue? That can be a good trick to make something appear a little bit more realistic to just let things merge even if they're not one in the same part but it'll just give it some realism let the eye do a little work the eye likes to do some work so let it do some work even though it might feel weird when you're painting it 